Now, according to a new report, men spend more time getting ready in the morning than women do. Now, surely this can't be true. Well, well, you know what, Mark? Mark spends a lot of time in the toilet. What is he doing? <laughs> Men are a lot hairier than women, and there's a lot more to deal with. But when you one don't has take got your to... hair off. We have to take ours off. Really? <laughs> most men I know take most hair off, darling. Oh. Yes, around the nether regions, of course. <laughs> the... Actually. <laughs> but you don't want all that exactly. nastiness down there, do you? <laughs> and plus, it also runs up some men's backs. And... Can I, I, can say, see can I say the your back would take a very long time. Well, I mean, I knew about that crack, darling, is what they say. <laughs> I, I knew no. some men, you know, wax their oh, shoulders, shoulders yes, and that, but you, you mean further well, down, right? Yes, darling. Listen, do you, do I have to confess something. When I was back in the eighties, you know, when Millie and Vanilli, both of them, were <laughs> wearing the the sort of spandex. Yeah. And well, back then, everyone used to shave. I know it's ridiculous, but everyone yeah. used to shave their legs. <laughs> Well, I mean, Did you shave your chest? Shaved. Did yeah, you shave your legs? Do you the... shave your legs? Not now. Oh. Well, that was about 20 years ago, oh, but okay. yeah, I did. And I Is mean, that your hand? I mean, what is that? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> yeah. It's really weird. Um, uh, no, yeah, but they were the days. I mean, but we used to do things like that, because, but it's different now. I think it's kind of better to look rugged, a bit more yeah. rugged. I'm not saying, you know, but I, yeah, it's not, not cool to shave your legs now, I don't think, unless you're a you cyclist. Know, you know, looking at that and that six pack, I often wonder, is it? Does it become as much of a nightmare when you've when you've got that sort of body to maintain? You know, you said it was twenty years yeah. ago. Do you look back? Now, I mean, I don't know whether you still look like that. I'm sure you do. But but if you, <laughs> but, but if you, but if you, <laughs> but, <laughs> but he does. But this is what it does to you. It scars you a little bit because I mean, unless you're someone like El McPherson who just seems to get better with age. Yeah. Um, yeah. I like to call her a freak of nature. Yeah, she's she's wonderful. She's um, fond of you as well, Nadia. <laughs> <laughs> um, but now it it does scar you in a way because when you work so hard to achieve, yeah. you know, the, what you think is you know back then, guys in England, when I came from Australia, I was into training because I was from Australia and everyone in Australia yeah, was yeah, training. Yeah. And not many guys I knew were doing it here. Were into the ripped sort of look, whereas now, 20 years on. Everyone's doing it. Now I'm embarrassed. So if I go to the beach, I will not just comfortably walk around with my shirt off. I never. I always put really? a vest on. It's just I think it's sort of inbuilt because you, you, you always think you'll be compared to what you look like. Yeah, so you tend to yeah. sort of stay away from it. And I much prefer to wear a do, suit. Do men get the, the same beach. sort of you know reaction in terms of oh he's lost it and this sort of thing? Never mind. It's, it's 20 years on. You're you're in no, your I've early still 40s got it. It's now. Just hibernating. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they do, of course they do. It, the men have the same problem as women with okay. age as well. And I think, certainly for teenagers now, I think it's really, really difficult for them, you know, with things like mm. Instagram, with all uh, social media putting mm. pressure on uh, young men to have abdominals, to have these amazing bodies. Yeah. And uh, when you see underwear commercials on the back of buses, you know, it's men now that are promoting yeah. that yeah. sexual side. Is that very... Um, is that fashion meant for very thin male models as well, well isn't yeah, it? Really you know, if you look at some, they're really anorexic. I mean, yeah. I had the same problem when I was a child, but of course that's because I was a little fat kid and I was called tits at school. <laughs> and I know that's funny, but it actually does no, but scar you a little not bit. Not when you're little. No, but not when you're small. And then when I got into dancing, I was constantly comparing myself to other dancers. Mm, and that's a very and it's brutal all world, it's brutal, isn't it? and you're yeah. constantly looking in the mirror. And I ended up anorexic for about four years. Mm. But that's only because, well, number one, I was starving myself. I wanted to look like everyone else. Yeah. I had a higher body fat percentage naturally Come than on. most men, so I was finding it really, really. Oh. <laughs> Because you had an very serious for you, didn't you? It you, did. have, you have, you, I mean, you have body dysmorphia. I mean, yeah, you always, I did. you know, you will always. I didn't have know that, what it was you? called at the time. Yeah. It wasn't until I went, I started going to a gym, and I had a personal trainer that then put me on a proper diet. Said you've mm. got to eat, otherwise you will not build muscle. And you, I was associating some... eating with fat mm. rather than building then muscle that yeah. then burns fat. But you also oh. had, you've also had surgery as well. Yes, you? I had these removed because um, it was a, it was, I had um, breast tissue underneath the nipple and a lot of, some bodybuilders get it, it's just a natural thing. Mm. And you, no matter how much you diet, 
you still have these breasts, you know, and um, people can't understand it. They think I went in for surgery just to be thin, yeah. but it wasn't that at all. It's because I, it, it's just there, it's breast tissue underneath feel, the nipple. And do you feel, because you don't get over anorexia, you don't get over body dysmorphia, no, so is it for you, is it a daily thing? You have to live with it? with it all through your life. Yeah. I think you mm. do. You, I, I don't feel completely uh, chained to it now, mm. you know, mm -hmm. I, can, I can see what foods are good for me and what what isn't, you know, yeah. but it is difficult and especially when it you get older, you, your metabolism thought. slows down. That but but what's so refreshing think... as well is that you're able to talk about mm. it here because obviously on Loose Women we talk about things like this all the time from a female perspective yeah. and you don't really consider that men might feel inferior mm. looking at posters on buses or, or, or go be driven to the point of anorexia. So thank, thank you for sharing that with us. You're welcome. <laughs> That's why I'm here, my